Okay, going down the road onto the hourglass shaped parcel. Coming off of the uh, seven some odd acre parcel. Going on to the just almost four acre parcel here. This road goes down here by the cemetery. Cemetery's way down at the end. Uh, all kinds of gorgeous trees in here. We've got nice, beautiful red ones. Golden ones. We're just, we're just, uh, we're just south of Cosby, Tennessee. Uh, we're the actual trail, AT trail crosses Highway 32, or what is considered the old Highway 32, uh, down at Davenport Gap. That is a 4.25 mile car drive from the property uh, and don't we, it takes about because of the road it takes about 11 to 15 minutes to drive to there uh, so real close to the trail uh, we will be uh, making use of that much much muchly uh, we have rhododendrons in here, some nice, beautiful, huge trees for, some of them are dead. We're going to have to pull some of them out. Going to have to do a lot of dozer and dirt work uh, to start off with. Uh, we're going to have to clean out some underbrush and places everywhere. So when I start this winter, I, first thing I'm going to do is start cutting up some of this stuff like for firewood and just get rid of it uh because a lot of it's been on the ground and as you can see here uh and it's not any good for anything but firewood now or just to leave and rot and let the nature take its course uh um we'll be able to pull some of it out and salvage it for building material uh and and so forth so there is a there is a nice big shed down there by the cabin where the good stuff that i pull out of it uh i can store it in that shed down there uh if you look at the flat spot right up there that is the cemetery that is the border of our property between me and there i'm on this little road so the, our property borderline is somewhere between us and the cemetery there uh so there, i don't know how far it goes back over there i know it goes at least to the ridge if not to the other side of the ridge somewhere uh i found some markers and i should be able to find some more i've already done some bushwhacking uh i did find i couldn't tell what berry they were because there's no berries on them and the leaves were kind of it's fall so it's kind of hard but there's plenty of briars uh, i may have some wild blackberries back there uh it was i wasn't really paying much attention to what berry they were <laughs> but uh in time i will find out what i've got and what i can add to it uh and so forth looking out across here I think our property goes to just on the other side of this little valley, just to those aspen. I think those are aspen trees over there. I think that's right over in there somewhere is where the, the boundary stops. Because about, oh, 200, 150, 200 yards from here, in through the, where the sun patches here, I'll zoom in. Probably about 50 yards past that area right there maybe 60 yards is the gate to this property so i've got some nice areas i got this area right here where i could do something with it but it's awful close to the cemetery i think i'll just leave it like that to keep a buffer between us and the cemetery 
uh, keep things as peaceful for everybody as possible. But then I've got this little area over here. Some great possibilities for uh, tree houses, cabins, and so forth. Uh, to all my hammock hanging buddies, there's plenty of trees. <laughs> plenty of trees to hang a hammock uh, around here. Uh, the creek runs along the road out there. Even though there could possibly be a, a spring or a creek back up in here, I'll need to investigate once I get to cleaning things out. Who knows, I might end up opening up a spring somewhere that hasn't been gotten to. Uh, I know they do come and go.